Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at points on a line today in this mini lesson. So you can expect for us to talk about lines. What is a line? We'll define it and take a look at them. And then we will find points on a line. And, of course, we're going to practice, practice, practice in a straight line and with points on that line. Let's take a look at it. What is a line? A line is a series of points that extend forever in opposite directions and are in a straight trajectory of each other. So an example of that would be if I were to plot the point negative 2, positive 2, right there, and then the point 0, positive 1, right there, and the point 2, 0, right there, these are three points that are in a straight trajectory and a line would be what we draw through those points extending forever in both directions. So this is an example of a line. So let's go ahead and practice for a little bit. I want you to name one point that is on this line. Just name one point that's on this line. You can go ahead and pause the video, try that out, try to answer and identify one point, any point that's on this line. Welcome back. There are several points on this line. I'm going to point out a couple of them. Here's one of the points on this line, the point negative 1, negative 3. Maybe that was the point that you picked on this line. Or perhaps you picked the point 1, negative 1, right there. Or maybe the point 3, positive 1, positive 3, positive 1. There are some other points on this line as well. This one here is the point 4, 2. That's the point 2, 0. And this is the point 0, negative 2. So there are several points on that line that you could have picked. Again, any point on a line is, a, is a, an ordered pair. So it's your x value, or the amount that you move side to side, and your y value, or the amount that you move up or down. The next part about a point is when you're asked to find a specific point on a line. Here's an example of the type of question you might see with that. What is the point on this line where x is 4? Every set of ordered pairs has an x value and a y value in this order. The first number in that set of ordered pairs is your x value. So we could write this as 4 comma y. Our x value is 4 and our y value is unknown. We don't know what it is. For me personally, I like to write, draw a line. So it helps to, that I'll draw a line where x is equal to 4. So again, my x values go side to side. So I start here at my origin and the point 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to draw a line there where x is equal to 4. So the x values along that line would all be equal to 4. Now, where is the point where that crosses the line? Right here. So at the point 4, negative 2, that's the point where it's on this line, and my x value would be equal to 4. Again, the point 4, negative 2. I want you to try one out. Here's your, the question for you. What point, what is the point on this line where y equals negative 1. Your y value is equal to negative 1. Pause the video, try and find that point, or you can put your mouse over that point and see if it's the same point that, that I highlight here in a second. All right, again, my x value and y value are always in the same order, x comma y. I don't know what my x value is, but I do know that my y value is negative 1. Sometimes it can help to make a line that shows my y values always at the point negative 1. So if my, I'm making a line where my y values are all negative 1, it would be a horizontal line like this at the point on the y-axis of negative 1. So all of these points have a y value of negative 1. Where does it cross the line? Boom, right there. Maybe you didn't need to draw the line. I just like to draw them. I find it helpful. But maybe you are able to identify that point 0, negative 1 without even needing to draw a line. If so, nice job. Here's our last question for this short video. 
What is the point on the line where x equals 0? What's the point on the line where x equals 0? So let's take a look at this one. Our ordered pairs are always put in this order, an x value first and y value second. Again, the x value just means how far you're moving side to side from our origin, and the y value is how far you move up and down. So we would list this as the point 0 for our x value and our y values unknown. I'm going to draw a line at x equals 0. Um, that's my orangish line right there. When x equals 0, that means I'm not moving left or right on this axis. So I'm staying right here. In fact, the point where x equals 0 is my y-axis. So I'm saying, where does it cross? And it's right there. This point where x equals 0 is actually my origin. It's 0, 0. So that one was, maybe it made it a little easier. Maybe it made it harder to have it sitting right on, on the origin for both axes there. So remember, lines are made up of points, and points are made up of coordinates. And then, of course, practice, 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 and you will get better at being able to identify points on a line. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.